Section 3.5, Dividing Decimals. I'm going to show you in the next one how to shift the decimal in order to make it a little bit easier to work out. But first, just to see if we can get an idea what the answer could be, let's estimate to place the decimal point in the proper spot. Now remember when we multiplied, we rounded them off? Well, let's round off 17.5 and then round off 2.5. Well, 17.5 will round off to 18. 2.5 will round off to 3. So how many times will 3 go into 18? And it'll be about 6 times, so our answer should be about 6. So where should we place the decimal in this one so that it's closest to 6? Well, the answer is we place it next to between the 7 and the zeros, and then the answer will be 7 decimal 0, 0, 0. Okay, so if we place it in front of it, it's going to be even less than 1. If we place it after, it's going to be 70 decimal 0, 0. In the next one, we've got 124.6, and we're going to divide that by 0 0.8. We'll round off 124 in B. We'll round it off to 125, and we'll round off decimal 8 to 1. And of course, anything divided by 1 is still going to be the same amount. So what's the closest we'll get to 125? Well, if we put it here, it's going to be 15 decimal 5 something. If we put it there, it's going to be 1,500. But if we put it right here after the 155, it'll be 155 decimal 75. This one here in C again, let's look at rounding him off. 57 decimal 96, round it off, will give us 58. And then 4 decimal 6, round it off, will give us 5. So how many 5s will we get out of that? When it, we know 10 fives will give us 50, 11 fives will give us 55. So we'll get about 11 out of it, roughly. So what number up there, where can we put the decimal to give us closest to 11? And the answer is right where the 12 is, right after the 2. And we'll get 12 decimal 6, 0. So you can use this skill to get an idea of whether you're going to be right at the beginning. But So if you get the answer and your answer is, you know, 200, or you think it's 126, you can look at your estimate and say, you know what, that's not close to what my estimate was, so it's not reasonable. To divide, all you simply do is write down your problem. I'll do the example from A. It's 9 decimal 45, and we're going to divide it by 0 decimal 3. Now the easiest way to do that is we want this to be a whole number. So we're going to have the shift at one place to the right. But if you do it on the outside, you must do it right on the inside, shift at one place. So now our new problem becomes 3 divided into 9, 4, decimal 5. And the easiest way to keep track of your decimal in a division problem is just go over and find your decimal and already put it there so you don't forget it. So let's start. 3 divided into 9, it goes 3 times. And then I'll put 3 times 3 is 9. And I've got none left over there. Bring down your 4. 3 goes into 4 once. So 3 times 1 is 3. And we have 1 left over. Bring down your 5 to help. 3 goes into 5, 15, sorry, 5 times. 3 times 15, 5 is 15, and we got no remainder. And our answer now is 31 decimal 5. And again, we could always estimate first. What will 9 decimal 4, 5 divided by decimal 3 be? Well, it's slightly less than 1, so we're going to have less than 9 as our, excuse me, it's slightly less than 1. So you know it's going to be more than 9 times. So it's probably not 315 times, but it should work out pretty close to uh, one-third times that. Okay, B. 92 decimal 34 times decimal 6. So let's do that down here. 92 decimal 34, and we're going to divide it by 0 decimal 6. 
Okay, I'm not going to work through all this one. You can do that one. But, again, if we want to get rid of that lovely decimal here, we can shift it one place, but we must shift it right here one place. So we have 6 into 9, 2, 3, and we shifted the decimal, so there's your 4. Now all you have to do, put your decimal right above the decimal, so you don't forget, and then do 6 into 9, it goes into it once, and we have 3 left over, because 1 times 6 is 6. Bring down your 2, and 6 times 5 is 30, and you got 2 left over, bring down your 3, 6 times 4 is 24, but 6 times 3 is 18, and you take that away and you got 5 left, bring down your 4, and 8 sixes are 48, 9 sixes should give you pretty close to 54, and you will get the final answer with no remainder. Right, so you can do the third one the exact same way. C up here. You just shift your decimal one place there and one place there, and it'll be 2 into 1, 8. And in fact, that one's real easy, because the answer will be 9. Because 2 times 9 is 18.